Hey, I'm Eric Haugen. Check the description box below for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about exactly what sound tools I'm using today, how to schedule lessons with me, live streams and more on Patreon, and my courses. It's all on my website. There's a Bruce Lee quote that goes something to the effect of, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. I think it's a good idea to have a core riff repertoire, you know, from existing songs, short intros, chord progressions, solos, things like that, that we keep coming back to slowly, cleanly, to check in on our musicality and our feel. We could do this with really any genre, but today we're talking about, I don't know, classic R&B, because it's fun to do. So let's look at some of these classic R&B riffs. We got the little guitar intro from Al Green's Love and Happiness. Let's check it out over here on fretboard cam. We are playing out of G sharp. Minor pentatonic, but we're gonna be up in the extension box. That's all it is, that little intro lick there. That's ninth fret. And yeah, I am using my fingers. You could use a pick also. Here, let's go over to that one. Now, I listen to this really slow, really close. It actually drops back down. I think about Teeny Hodges is playing this guitar part. I slowed it down. You could have done the, the response over here, but I think he's over here down there out of this position of G-sharp minor pentatonic. And then here's, here's the cool thing about riff repertoire. Every single one of these things will have something in it that's interesting. If we don't know this chord, this version of an E7, boom, whoop, there it is for you. Back that up to a D-sharp seven and then a G-sharp minor. And so the cool thing is, all right, if I was going to, oh yeah, and then there's a little, little bendy bit there. Uh, let's go over to this camera. Whole thing, slowly and just so slow, so clean. slower. I always say to do that. Y'all know me. You practice something here, you bring it down, you bring it down. That's the best way I know to make sure that we really got it. Cool Squire, classic vibe, Starcaster. I'll talk more about it at the end. I like this guitar. This is stock right now, but you know me, I'm gonna tweak it. All right, there's one little thing to work on. Let's switch guitars and just have some fun. Let's look at now the second riff. I love this riff so much. It's one of those really simple things that it just sounds so nice. It's really just G and C back and forth, but we're not gonna play G like this. We're gonna just let it be only our ring finger down there so that he does this really sweet little hammer on here on the second fret, you know, getting the ninth of the chord, but he also lets that high E string in. So you get this. That is so pretty. That is just the prettiest little chord. And there's a little pickup, an open A string to get to this C chord. And then this is like a, you know, Carter style. A little, little, you know, hammer on on the C. That's all it is. But to get it slow and clean here, let's go over to hand cam. That's a picking accuracy thing for sure. You know what? You don't need to play whole songs. You only need to play whole songs if you're going to cover them or record them. I think it's actually totally cool to just know sections of things really well, really clean. Let's check the next one. G 
James Brown, get up, get on up, I feel like a sex machine. This introduces this new chord, the ninth chord. Another cool chord to know, there I am up at the 11th fret, boom, you can see the, the chord chart there, drops in with some eighth notes there. This is introducing that concept of only squeezing the chord when you want it to make it more staccato. Then you drop down to an E flat. Now this is really cool. A lot of times we think funk guitar is always this. Okay, let's look at this camera. But it was in listening to James Brown that, you know, there's so much stuff going on. Remember, it's about everybody and the stuff that everybody's doing that the, the guitar, one of the guitar parts is just. But that still is clean. You can hold that note if you want to. My finger's kind of there as though I'm going to get it, but really it's just. That's all it is. That's all that great little funk guitar part is because there's the bass line going on. You know, there's all those other things going on. So all you have to do is. Okay, let's look at hand cam. Again, that's clean rhythm playing. And if you want to know what the bridge is, can I take it to the bridge? Which is implying this, this um, A flat up here, but really you're only gonna get the top part. That's all you gotta do there. I mean, if you want, you could put, have that note in there too. Doesn't sound right though. It really is just the top part. But even that, you know, great thing to sit around and work on. Cool. So of course, Curtis Mayfield used a very interesting tuning where he tuned his guitar to the black keys of the piano, I think they call it like F sharp tuning or black key tuning, but let's put it in standard, the chords that he's he's noodling over, it's gonna be a D flat, B flat minor. And then this is interesting, it's kind of think of it like an A, a flat sus four, sus two, or you could think of it like it's a G flat chord, but with an A flat in the bass, it's a very 70s chord. Great sound, right? And so he's dropping in there with double stops, pentatonic double stops on the first thing. That's all it is there, back and forth, thinking of that chord, but getting six and six, four and four. And yeah, I'm using my fingers, but you don't have to. You could have done this with a pick, but I think it sounds uh, more cool with fingers. And then you just go ahead and get, you're gonna go ahead and get that B flat minor seven. This is tricky though, this part is hard. That's really part of that, B flat minor seven. And then on this Mustang, it's easy for me to get around to get my thumb down there. That's a Curtis Mayfield thing. Let's look at hand cam. You got that chord, you do a little, uh, back over to this camera. Back a little further. That. And then this is so cool. Here comes another uh, D flat. That's my take on it. He's doing something else with uh, artificial or I guess classical harmonics. Again, different tuning. Oh no, I didn't do it exactly right. Sounds nice though. So I'm thinking about that chord. I'm getting the root in the third. Four and well, you could see it very clearly what I'm doing today. Pentatonic double stop there, slide forward. So I'm seeing that version of the chord 
And then I'm just gonna go 12 frets higher than that and smack it. Oh yeah. So that little last bit. Ooh, how angelic. Whole thing. Take your time with this. Ta-da, that's so pretty. That's RIP Curtis, man. Thank you. Thank you for making so much cool stuff. And then we actually got Bill Withers rhythm part to use me. It's really cool. Let's go look at hand cam. We got uh, E minor seven. And then this time we are doing the thing, the. I've said this in last week's video. I say this often when you got to do a lot of picking. Everybody's hand is different, but what up? Instead of crossing like that. It's so hard to, instead of crossing. Instead of crossing dead flat, I'm gonna go back like that because you get less resistance. Something to think about. All right, we got the. So let's get this going. And now we're, the pattern is like it's three of them. doing that thing of yeah I guess that is a I guess that is a really useful rhythm guitar skill yeah look at front cam fun to look over there got got it we're in shot yeah yep you're gonna you're gonna hit opens and then we're just gonna get to an a7 but we're, he's watch him play it he's just gonna get five five six so he can get this muting Fret buzz. Slow down. That pendulum never stops and notice it's not tight from that elbow. It's loose, baby. There we have it for today. Okay, quick talk about, I love Squire, uh, classic vibe stuff in general. If this, if it says, where is that? If it says made in Indonesia, oh, whatever. If it's made in Indonesia, more likely than not, it's gonna have a nice neck. You know, it did need a setup. My boys at uh, Twin House Music, my local shop, good guys over there. You know, this guitar was 400 bucks. I was like, hey, you know, we got some high frets. We got, you know, they took down some high frets. They filed the fret edges. The nut had high slots, so the intonation was just all over the place. Now, $400 guitar and a setup, totally cool. You know, I'm, you know, I can't leave well enough alone, but uh, I, you know, in general, Check out the Squire Classic. I, I don't have any Fender affiliation, by the way. I'm just a Fender fanboy. Uh, I just like Fenders. These are the stock pickups. I still think they sound good. The one thing I will say about wide range humbuckers, you know, these Fender uh, humbuckers, they're, this one, the neck position in the, in the, in the low end, like it's kind of a little excessively, Wait, what's the riff I'm thinking? You kind of hear that like kind of deadness. You're lacking a little bit of high end detail up top. To get it, you have to go way back close to the bridge. You know, I'm going to have my man Tom Brantley make me some pickups for this and redo the wiring because I can't leave well enough alone. 
That's all we'll talk about for today. We can't know all the riffs. So here's some suggestions for you. Have fun. Pick your own. Pick your own. But I'm a firm, firm believer in making lists and sticking to them. You know, we, I've said this in videos. We can't know everything, and that's okay. I think we do really well if we have a core repertoire of things we come back to again and again and again as our technical warm-up. I never tell people to practice, like, I don't know, sequences or this, that, the other. That's, that's me, my personal thing. I'm like, the techniques are in the songs. And once you're not a beginner anymore, pick a song that's got the sound you want to be good at doing. Work on it. Keep coming back to it. Get it better and better. Play it slow. Slower. Slower still. So you got it. You got every note exactly where you want it to be. Hey, if you enjoy my work, please like, subscribe, share. That costs you nothing and helps people like me out a lot who work this gig. One more time around how my business works. Lessons. Live streams, charts, backing tracks. That's on Patreon. My courses. That's how. Well, I keep the lights on in here. As Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. Happy Friday. Eat pizza.